A beautiful, blessed morning, blessed day, Grateful Gal family. Welcome back to the Grateful Gal Sports Hold on, Y'all know what time it is, man. About to get direct into the daily verse before I get into the sports rundown. Daily verse for the day of August 10th, 2023. Derives from the book of Matthew, chapter 7, verse 7. And it states as follows. Keep on asking and you will receive what you ask for. Keep on seeking and you will find. Keep on knocking and the door will be open to you. Amen. And again, it's from the book of Matthew, chapter 7, verse 7. And this morning for the Great for Gal Sports Huddle Rundown, I will be going over NFL preseason preview, which kicks off tonight. Um, the Women FIFA World Cup update, WNBA information, Big 3 League update information, Major League Baseball, and the upcoming boxing schedule and boxing results from last week. All righty, ladies and gentlemen, like I said, man, y'all know what time it is. NFL season is officially here again. Games are kicking off tonight. Thursday night football will be on the NFL Network. We have the Texans versus the Patriots kicking it off for our preseason opener. Um, well, we kind of had a preseason opener last week with the Hall of Fame game, but it's kind of like uh, it is preseason opener game, but I don't think it goes to like no record or nothing like that. Maybe it does. I don't think so, though. But, again, preseason week one is here, man. The official week one of NFL will, will kick off September 7th. But, again, we are here today on August 10th, 2023. Um, the first game tonight will be the Texans versus the Patriots. I'm actually kind of excited to be able to see um, C.J. Stroud take the take first team reps. He'll probably get about two series um, with him at, at the, as the quarterback. So I'm definitely going to be tuned in to see how he's transitioned from college to the NFL, which I know he's going to do well. Um, I like C.J. Stroud. He played great against the Georgia Bulldogs um, last year in the semifinals for the for the uh, college football playoffs. It was awesome to see him. Um, that definitely, that, that game definitely pro propelled him to be, I, I believe he was a number two or number three pick this past year because um, he's a great player, man. He's a great young player and he has a bright future in the league. So I'm, I'm excited to see him. Um, as well as we're at Will Anderson. Will Anderson is their first round defensive pick. So we'll get to see him tonight as well on the defensive side of the ball. And I'm just excited, man. Again, you know, um, D'Amico Ryan, his coaching debut um, with the with the Texans as a head coach. So I'm, I'm excited to see what he's talking about. As well as with the Patriots, man, you know, they have a lot going on over there. We're going to see Mac Jones again tonight to see if he's made that, that big leap. Uh, from his rookie year, you know, he kind of fell off last year, but this is another year under his belt um, with Bill Belichick and those type of gentlemen up there, you know, that team and that roster, you know, the Patriots always come to play. They have a winning culture that has been, you know, in, in effect for a long time. And I know it's going to continue to go as long as Bill Belichick is is at the helm of the, of the coaching, uh, you know, at the, at the top of the of the team or whatever. So then after that game, uh, let me go back to the Texas and Patriots game. That game is going to kick off at 7 p.m. tonight on NFL Network. Again, on NFL Network tonight at 7 p.m. And then following that game, we have the Minnesota Vikings going up against the Seattle Seahawks at 10 p.m. as well. Again, on NFL Network. Um, and then for Friday game, we have one game tomorrow. We have the Packers going up against the Bengals on, at 7 p.m. on NFL Network as well. So make sure y'all tune in to those three games. Um, oh, I'm sorry. We have we have more games tomorrow as well. We have the Falcons going up against the Dolphins at 7 p.m. Uh, we have the Steelers going up against the Buccaneers. We have the Giants going up against the Lions. We have the Commanders going up against the Browns. And the, the Hall of Fame game did count towards a preseason win. So the Browns are currently the only team right now of this NFL season with a win. Uh, so we, we shall see how they continue to go forth with that. Um, and then the last game on Friday will be on NFL Network as well at 10 p.m. That'll be the Broncos going up against the Cardinals. So make sure y'all tune into that. And then make sure y'all tune into the Saturday Sports Auto. I have the rest of the games for this weekend on the Saturday Sports Auto. So make sure y'all tune in. I'm definitely looking forward to it. My birds play on Saturday, so you know I'm going to be locked in. Moving on to the FIFA World Cup update. FIFA World Cup update. Um, sadly... The United States women's team was kicked out last week. Um, I actually was able to get up and check out the game. Um, you know, very disappointed, very disappointed from from what I've seen, man. You know, from from 
from what all the soccer experts said, they said the women's U.S. team that was their best game of of the tournament, and we you know we lost. So I don't know how it's the best game of the tournament when we lost when games before that we we won games, but whatever. It came down to a penalty kicks. We missed penalty kicks, man. Like I said, it was, it was truly disappointing. Um, you know, just you know, I don't, I don't think the effort was there. Shout out to the Swedish goalie. Um, she was awesome, man. She she had like nine or ten saves. You know, she was she was definitely um, working. You know, she was working her butt off to be able to put put Sweden in a position to win, in which they ultimately did, man. So shout out to Sweden. Um, but I will go over the round of sixteen results before I get into the quarterfinals. The quarterfinals actually kick off um, this evening. Um, so make sure you tune in. Quarterfinals kick off this evening, but. The results from the round of 16, we had Spain defeat Switzerland 5-1. to one. We had Japan defeat Norway 3-1. to one. We had the Netherlands defeat South Africa 2-0. to zero. We had Sweden defeat USA and penalty kicks 5-4. to four. We had England defeat Nigeria and penalty kicks 4-2. to two. Then we had Australia defeat Denmark 2-0. to zero. We had Colombia defeat Jamaica 1-0, and we had France defeat Morocco 4-0. Moving on to the quarterfinals. Again, the quarterfinals will go from August 10th through August 12th. We have Spain going up against the Netherlands tonight at 9 p.m. I will be tuning in to this game um, just so I can have some other information to speak about for Spain tomorrow. Um, I will be having Spain as my Fun Fact Friday country. Um, tomorrow to show my appreciation for my growing audience in Spain. So shout out to y'all. Good luck going forward in the FIFA World Cup. Then on Friday games, we have Japan going up against Sweden at 3.30 a.m. on Fox. Um, and, and again, the night, the game tonight at 9 p.m. Versus, versus Spain and Netherlands will be on Fox as well at 9 p.m. And uh, make sure y'all tune in for Saturday. Uh, well, actually, I will go over the Saturday rundown this morning. Um, because the games are early in the morning on Saturday. So Saturday, August 12th, we have Australia going up against France at 3.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on Fox. And then we have England going up against Colombia as well um, at 6.30 a.m. on Fox on Saturday. So make sure y'all tune in. I will have results from that game um, the morning of the sports hold on Saturday. Most likely the England and Colombia game will still be going. So I will have a live um, score update for that game, but I will have the results from the Australia and France game. So make sure y'all tune in. And then the semifinals will start August 15th through the 16th. Um, third place game will be August 19th. And the final championship World Cup game will be on August 20th. So make sure y'all stay tuned. Make sure y'all tune in. And let's continue to go for it. All righty. Moving on to the WNBA action from this week. WNBA action from this week. We had... Um, a couple of pretty good games. I'm going to go back to Tuesday. Tuesday games, we had the, the Kinetic Sun um, going up against the Seattle Storm. The Kinetic Sun defeated them 81-69. to then we, then we had the L.A. Sparks going up against the Indiana Fever. The L.A. Sparks defeated the Fever 87-80. We had the Minnesota Lynx going up against the Chicago Sky. Minnesota Lynx defeated Chicago Sky 88-79. Then we had the Las Vegas Aces going up against the Dallas Wings. The Aces defeated the Wings 104 to 80. Oh, excuse me, 104 to 84. Excuse me. Then we had the Mercury, the Phoenix Mercury defeat the DC Mystics 91-72. Moving on to tonight's games, we have the Atlanta Dream going up against the Seattle Storm tonight at 10 p.m. on NBA TV. Then we have the Minnesota Lynx going up against the Indiana Fever at 7 p.m. on Prime Video. And then following that game on Prime Video as well, we have the Kinetic Sun going up against the Phoenix Mercury at 10 p.m. on Prime Video. So make sure y'all tune into those games tonight. Um, we're definitely getting into the home stretch of the WNBA season. Um, the second half is coming to the third, um, but we're, 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 we're chopping away. We're chopping away. Then for Friday games, we have the Chicago Sky going up against the New York Liberty at 8 p.m your local channels. Then we have the DC Mystics going up against the Las Vegas Aces at 10 p.m. on Friday as well. So make sure y'all tune in Saturday for the sports huddle to get sports results from Thursday and Friday games. And then I'll be covering Saturday games also.
Moving on to the Big Three League. Big Three League is coming down to elimination. A lot of teams have been getting eliminated over the last couple of weeks. I believe we only have four teams for the playoff spot. We're down to eight teams now, so two for four more teams will be eliminated this week coming up. Um, games. So let's go over the score results from last week. And uh, speaking on the big three, you know, again they're they're broadcast on CBS. I, my wife, my my daughters and I, we were watching the big three league. Uh, I believe we got to like the third game, and then it got cut off. The PGA Tour um, took over, so I don't know what was going on with that. But um, the first time I was able to actually get live coverage of the big three league it was cut short because of the pga tour so i reached out to the big three league nobody no one reached back out to me i reached out to cbs no one reached back out to me so i don't know what was going on so i don't know if that was planned ahead and both parties were understanding that that what that that was going to happen but from my understanding that was not i was not aware of that so again uh we're down to eight teams so four teams this week will be eliminated um because we only have four spots for the playoffs so we're in the final week of the big three league and this week's matchups we have uh, will kick off on sunday august 13th at 12 p.m so i will be going over the the uh the schedule going forward um for the big three league but the recap from week seven we had the triplets defeat the ball hogs 50 to 34 we had the Trilogy defeat Ghost Ballers 50 to 34 as well. We had Killer Threes defeat Power 51 to 46. We had Threes Companies defeat Enemies 50 to 42. We had Tri State defeat Bevovac 51 to 40. And I believe all four of those teams are out. Tri State is out. Bevovac is gone home. Um, and again, make sure y'all tune in for. On a Saturday sports huddle for updated coverage and updated schedule for week eight of the Big Three League. And again, week eight will be in Detroit, Michigan this week coming up. So we have four games on the slate. So make sure y'all tune in to the sports huddle on Saturday to get the coverage for the Sunday's lineup for the Big Three League. Man, shout out to Ice Cube and the whole Big Three. Moving on to Major League Baseball. Major League Baseball, we had a no-hitter last night. We had a no-hitter from the Philadelphia Phillies. Um, the gentleman, Michael Lorenzen, he completed a no-hitter um, for the Phillies. He threw, so it, that was his first time in his home debut. So that was his first time going in front of the crowd in Philadelphia. I know from being a, a Philadelphia Eagles fan, I know the, the uh, Philly fans were thrilled to be able to have that experience last night and to be able to see that from a young promising um pitcher you know what i mean what a, what a performance again that's their 14th no hitter in franchise history um so what a way to be able to open your debut and um get the city of philadelphia to know your name so again michael lorenzen completed a no hitter against the washington nationals last night the phillies defeated them seven to zero um then we had the braves defeat the pirates six to five we had the marlins defeat the reds five to four we had the Brewers defeat the Rockies in extra innings, 7-6. We had the Athletics defeat the Rangers, 2-0. We had the Tigers defeat the Twins, 9-5. We had the Cardinals defeat the Tampa Bay Rays, 6-4. We had the Astros defeat the Orioles, 8-2. And we had the Mets defeat the Cubs, 4-3. The Red Sox defeated the Royals, 4-3 as well. We had the Blue Jays defeat the Guardians, 1-0. We had the White Sox defeat the Yankees 9-2. We had the Angels defeat the Giants 4-1. We had the Dodgers defeat the Diamondbacks 2-0. And we had the Mariners defeat the Padres 6-1. Moving on to tonight's games, we have Braves going up against the Pirates. Astros going up against the Orioles. Twins are going up against the Tigers. We had the Blue Jays going up against the Cardinals. I mean, excuse me, we had the Blue Jays going up against the Guardians. We have the Cardinals going up against the Rays. We have the Nationals going up against the Phillies. We have the Royals going against the Red Sox. And we have the Rockies going up against the Dodgers. So make sure y'all tune in to Thursday games. Then Friday, we're going to have new series. The Braves will be going up against the Mets. The Guardians will be going up against the Tampa Bay Rays. We have the Yankees going up against the Marlins. We have the Twins going up against the Phillies. We have the Athletics going up against the Nationals. We have the Reds going up against the Pirates. We have the Cubs going up against the Blue Jays. 
We have the Tigers going up against the Red Sox. We have the Angels going up against the Astros. We have the Brewers going up against the White Sox. We have the Cardinals going up against the Royals. We have the Padres going up against the Diamondbacks. We have the Orioles going up against the Mariners. We have the Rockies going up against the Dodgers. And we have the Rangers going up against the Giants. And again, these series will go all the way to Sunday. So make sure y'all tune in. Um, again, on a Saturday, Sports Huddle to get updated results from Thursday and Friday, Major League Baseball results. All righty, moving on to our closing segment of the Sports Huddle. We're going to go over the boxing schedule coming up and boxing, re- excuse me, boxing results from last week. Um, so we had, let me go, hold on, let me get a better schedule here. Boxing schedule. <clears throat> I hope everybody having a great day today, man. Thank you, Father God, for life today, Lord. Thank you, Father God, truly. I pray and ask that today is the best day because today, Father God, thank you for everything you're doing, everything you've done, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Thank you, truly, God. Thank you, amen. All righty, so coming forth this weekend, we have a title fight on August 12th. We have Emmanuel Neverady going up against Oscar Valdez for... Never Rady's WBO Juniors lightweight title. Um, so again, we have a title fight this weekend on, and that would be on ESPN, ESPN Plus. It starts at 7 p.m. So the title fight will probably kick off around like 11 ish, 11 30. We have Emmanuel Never Rady versus Oscar Valdez title fight. Again, make sure y'all tune in. Um, then from last week results, we had, excuse me, we had, um, we got a we got a, we got a couple more fights as well. We got a we got another title fight um in Maryland. This the first title fight for um Emmanuel and Oscar that will be in Glendale, Arizona. Again, you can catch that one on ESPN. Then we have another title fight as well the same day on Showtime. We have Emmanuel Rodriguez going up against Melvin Lopez. 12 rounds for the vacant IBF Bannerman weight title. So again, we have two title fights this weekend. On August 12th, so make sure y'all tune in. Um, that's my brother's birthday as well. My brother Denise, aka Buddha. So I'm looking forward to um, you know, telling him happy birthday on that day. Um, but it's gonna be some great fights as well. So again, make sure y'all check out those two title fights: Emmanuel Rodriguez versus Melvin Lopez. This this fight will be on Showtime. Um, that's probably gonna kick off around 8 p.m. And then we have um Emmanuel Navarrete versus Oscar Valdez. Um, on ESPN, that's going to that's gonna kick off. The, the the regular bout is going to kick off at 7 p.m., but the main car probably won't start to about 11. So make sure y'all tune into those fights. Uh, and fight results from last week, we had... Hold on, let me, let me go back to it. Let me go to it. Let me find it. Mm-hmm. We had a women's championship fight. I got to find it. Let's see here. Um, I forgot her name. But the, the lady who fought last week, she defended her title. Um, I can't find it. Hold on. Well, give me one second. I, give me a second. I have to find it. I can find it. So, again, make sure y'all tune in tomorrow for uh, um, Great for Gab, Fun Facts. I will have fun facts about the country of Spain, man. Shout out to the country of Spain for um, supporting my podcast. And, you know, having the audience continue to grow. I'm looking forward to it, and I appreciate y'all. So, let's see. Yep, yep, yep. (sighs) I can't find it. Let me see. Look at one more thing. Okay, so we had, um, I don't know, we got the the champions, yeah, just showing me the men right here, I need the women, I need the women, Um, I will find it, and I will have an update tomorrow morning. Uh, I forgot. I can't think of the lady name. That's why, again, I will be having my fighting, uh, my fighting 
host. He will be coming here. Um, I don't know when, but again, I am looking for individuals who know about boxing and more, you know, MMA and those type of things to be able to, you know, have and host this segment with me so we can go back and forth and I can learn more things about the sport and really get into it. And um, they can teach me things and I can be able to be more informative going forward. So other than that, Grateful God family, I don't got too much for y'all. Again, as you know, man, give God glory for today. Um, and let's, let's go forward, man. Have, have a great today. Make the best of it because today is today. You know, we can't get it back. We're not going to get it again. You know, you can only have today as for what it is. So I love y'all. Y'all be blessed. And make sure y'all tune in tomorrow morning again for the Fun Facts Friday. Shout out to Spain. And good luck to all the rest of the teams in the FIFA World Cup. Um, and may the best team win. And only one champion will be crowned. I'm looking forward to see who it will be. Um, unfortunately, it wasn't Team USA. But hey, you know, they didn't deserve to play. They didn't deserve to win three in a row because they didn't play their best. But it's okay. You know, it's all learning. It's all lessons in learning um, with wins and losses. So just take it, take heed to that. And um, let's go forward and have the best today today. I love y'all. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. All major podcast platforms, Amazon Music, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify. Uh, follow me, follow me, follow me on any major podcast platform you tune into. Please follow me. Hit that follow button. Um, email me, greatforgalpodcast at gmail.com. Again, if you know anybody out there doing any great deeds in the community, I would love to be able to get them, um, get that information and put it on my, my show um, so the world can be able to know um, what the great things people are doing in the world. Um, Twitter, or aka X, it's called X now. Make sure y'all follow me there. Grateful underscore Gab. Check me out on Instagram as well, that Grateful Gab podcast. And other than that, Grateful Gab family, I love y'all, man. Have a great today. And I tune in to y'all tomorrow. Until next time. Peace.